Hi everyone, happy Easter. Welcome to your Sunday Relax and Reset class. This is Nadine and Jude, and we are recording this video from Darwin, Australia, where we are currently quarantining. We're on day six of our quarantine, so we're almost halfway through before we head on to Melbourne to see my family. And so while I can't be doing this class live with you all today, I hope you enjoy it. It's one of my favorite ones um, and that it sets you up for the week ahead and all of your other PFP classes. I miss working out in person with you and I can't wait to be doing live classes once again in a few weeks. But until then, enjoy this recording and the pre-recorded classes for the next few weeks and uh, I will be in touch. Happy Easter, have a wonderful day, bye. Uh, I am Nadine and welcome to your first class for the year. Um, relax and reset, let's dive into it. Before we get started, I just wanted to um, say thank you to everyone for your kindness and generosity with our holiday drive. Um, we were overwhelmed by everyone's donations and the final tally will be announced later this week. So it feels good to be back. I hope you all had a lovely break and um, perhaps did something to round out 2020 and welcome in 2021. My family and I yesterday did um, what they call the polar plunge here in Austin, where we, uh, we all jumped into Barton Springs. Um, apart from Jude, I thought that would maybe not be great, having an 11 month old jump, jump into freezing water on a freezing day. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was a really wonderful, um, wonderful way to shake off the year that we've had and um, just feel really positive and ready to welcome in the year ahead. So I feel quite privileged to be the first class off the ranks um, for PFP this year and I hope you have a good one. As always, um, option to take your shoes off to be a little more comfortable, make sure you have a second chair nearby. We will do a fair bit of, um, there will be options for standing exercises today. And any cushions, blocks, I don't have my rubbish bin with me, but that always comes in handy for the glute stretch that we do at the end of class. Anything like that that you need to support yourself and, um, and make sure you're as comfortable as possible for this class. Gather all of that now, and then when you're ready, take a comfortable seat. Settle yourself in your chair, lean back and close your eyes. And then when you're ready, finding yourself nice and settled in your seat, you can let your feet slide forwards, set them apart a little bit so that your legs are really relaxed. The tops of your thighs can relax down and heavy into the support of your chair. So looking to create a, a little bit of softening at the front of the hips. We can hold a lot of tension here. So relax the legs out in front of you, consciously soften the area at the front of your hips and then move your awareness up, heavy your back into your chair. Let your shoulders draw down away from your ears and that sense of heaviness, relaxation and ease, let it travel all the way down both of your arms. Rest your palms face down on your thighs. If you don't feel comfortable closing your eyes, then you can softly gaze down towards your hands. Bring your awareness up to your face. Relax your jaw. Relax your cheeks. Soften all of the muscles around your eyes, between your eyebrows, across your forehead. And once you have consciously found ease through your body, draw your awareness to your breath. Take a deep, full inhale through the nose. Fill up. As you're ready, open mouth, exhale. 
Again, just like that, deep breath in. Open mouth, exhale. One more time through, full inhale. Open mouth, exhale. And then you can seal your lips closed or and draw your breath in and out through your nose. Or continue to breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth, but soften, lengthen your breath. Let it slow down and let your rhythmic inhales and exhales help in turn create that sense of ease and relief through your body. And in this moment of pause before we begin our practice, just scan through your physical body today. Notice where it's at. Notice where your energy levels are at. If you're feeling uh, fatigued or highly energetic, any pain or discomfort or everything is ready and raring to go into 2021, whatever you notice, honor that throughout today's class. A big part of this mindful practice is all about taking time to turn our awareness inwards, tuning in with ourselves and then acting accordingly based on what our current experience is. So just take stock, notice where you're at today. Let your breath continue to move through you slow and steady, long, full inhales, easeful exhales. And given this is our first class back of the year, I thought that we could take time together during class to first of all reflect on the year that was and then look ahead into the year that we have coming. And I know that uh, the experiences that we have this week may well be exactly the same as they were last week. Or the, the, the issues or the stresses we had last week may have carried through into 2021. However, I think the turning of the year is a really good time to first honor all that has been and, and then to take a moment to look ahead, to have hope for the future, excitement even. So as you sit breathing, letting your body just pause and be at ease, Cast your mind back over the last 12 months. Ask yourself, what are you grateful for? What experiences, moments come to mind that make you smile? Amongst all of the challenge and chaos that, that was last year, Dig deep into your memory bank and take a moment to reflect on what was really positive. And then let those memories, experiences fade into the background of your mind. Come back to your breath, come back to your body. Looking back over the year that was, ask yourself, what must be acknowledged? What do you need to let go of to make space for the new this coming year? You may
may not have immediate answers to these questions, but even just asking them allows space for the inquiry into it all. Thinking back over the last year, reflect on what you have learned. What has been important to you? And what would you like to carry forth into the year ahead? And as I said, maybe you don't have answers to these questions at this moment in time. Maybe they'll come to you this afternoon, later on in the week. But by simply posing the question, we, we create space to be in that reflective state of mind, to honor all that occurred, all that happened last year. For now, let those questions, those experiences, memories, lessons, let them all fade to the outskirts of your mind. Come back to your breath. Deep, full inhale. Slow, steady exhale. One more through, just like that fully conscious breath in. And a breath out. Sit up tall in your seat. Keep your eyes closed or softly gazing down to your thighs and drag your feet back so they're directly beneath your knees. And draw the backs of your palms to touch. Reach both hands forward and then all the way up overhead. Full breath in. As you breathe out, open your palms to the sky. Let your arms circle back behind you and your chest puff up nice and proud. Until you feel your hands skim the sides of your chairs. Chair, once again, reach forward. Connect the backs of the palms. Inhale, lift all the way up. Exhale, open your palms to the sky. Let your hands float all the way down to the earth either side of your chair. At the end of the breath out, when the inhale comes spontaneously, reach your hands forward, connect the backs of the palms, lift up, lift high. As you exhale, let the palms float all the way down, back behind you. Little circles with the arms, a chance to open up, create space across the front of your chest. Again, inhale, reach. Exhale, float the arms down and challenge yourself to take as long as possible to draw your hands all the way down to earth. Let's move through that flow three more times. Inhale, reach the backs of the palms forward, up. As you exhale, let your hands float down behind. You feel your shoulder blades heavy on your back body, your heart open and bright. Twice more through, breath in. Breath out. Inhale, reach. Exhale, circle back, down and around. This time, once again, inhale, reach your palms forward and up. As you exhale, take a twist to the right. Reach your left hand forward, your right hand back, palms face the sky. Inhale, two hands high, turn your torso to the front once again, backs of the palms touch. As you exhale, take your circle in the other direction, your twist, right hand forward, left hand back. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, reach. Exhale, twist left. 
Go once more through to each side. Inhale, lift high. Exhale, take your twist. Last time through, reach up, grow long. As you exhale, twist left, stay tall, long, lifted through your torso. Inhale, two hands to the sky. As you exhale, float your hands all the way down to your lap. Circle those shoulders up, back and down. And again, up, back and down. Once more through, deep breath in to lift. Breath out, circle back and down. And take your right hand, either hold on to the bottom of your chair or scoop your right hand beneath your right thigh. Plant your feet firmly on the earth, sweep your left hand up to the left side, then all the way overhead to the right side of your space. Once you've gone as far as you can go in your side stretch, really think about drawing your right rib cage forward, pulling your left ribs back, gaze up towards the sky. And from your left outer hip all the way through to your left fingertips, breathe, create space, length. One more breath here. Let your left hand circle down, forward, as if you're skimming the horizon and all the way over to the left side. This time either grip the bottom of the chair or slide your left hand beneath your left thigh, whatever works for you. Turn to your right side, sweep your right palm all the way up, overhead. Again, once you've found your end of range in your side body lean, think about pulling that left rib cage forward, drawing your right ribs back, gaze up towards the sky, enjoy two breaths here. end of that second exhale sweep your right hand forward skim the horizon come all the way back to the right side and then foot your right hand to your right thigh left hand to your left thigh sit up nice and tall seated cat cow as you breathe in pull your hands back towards your hips press your heart to the sky as you breathe out draw your hands to the tops of your knees press your upper back to the space behind you and tuck your chin to your chest Inhale, rise on up, sit proud, deep, full breath. As you exhale, curl on into yourself. Inhale and open. And if anywhere along the way with these seated cat cows, you feel like, oh, I'd really like to stay there and fully stretch into that area, then please do pause, direct your breath to the area of your body that really needs that stretch and allow it to open and release. If you're staying with this flowing movement, keep the breath going. See if you can time the full cycle of breath in and breath out with the movement that you are completing. Perhaps going a little bit further into range every single time. Three more cycles of breath here. Last time through. Draw your hands midway up your thighs. Sit tall and actually shimmy right to the front of your chair. Set your feet once again below your knees and then interlace your hands at your low back. If it's too much to grab the hands, perhaps you hold on to the sides of your chair or the back of your chair. If you want to go a little deeper into this front heart opening, you can catch a hold of opposite elbows or opposite forearms. So we've got hands interlaced, forearms, 
elbows or the back of the chair. Okay, so find your variation, remembering to honor what you noticed in your body at the beginning of class. And also um, just always coming back to that idea of taking good care of yourself first and foremost. So find your variation. Sit up nice and tall, take a breath in. As you breathe out, bow your torso forward and down any amount. When you found your edge, take little half circles with your head, circling round to one side, then all the way back around to the other, drawing your chin across the front of your chest. Once more to each side in your half circles. And free your hands wherever they're bound, chair or to the opposite arm. Take your hands to the tops of your thighs, press into your feet and sit up tall. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Open mouth, sigh, exhale out. Ha. Ah. Felt good. Let's do one more just like that. Breath in. Sigh it out. <sighs> so good. Sitting up nice and tall, tops of the chair. Let's move into our half sun salutation. So set your feet up directly beneath your knees, parallel, all 10 toes facing forwards. Create length through your side body from your hips to your armpits. Imagine I was pulling on the tops of your ears, drawing them up towards the sky to create length through your neck. As you're ready, reach both hands high to the sky, full breath in. On the breath out, bow down, reach your hands towards your feet. As you next inhale, draw your hands to your shins or the fronts of your knees, press into your legs, lengthen your heart forward. As you exhale, float all the way down to the earth. Press into your feet, inhale, reach your hands high to the sky. On the exhale, let's take a twist, just as we were doing at the beginning of the class. Twist right, inhale, center. Exhale, twist left. Inhale, center. Exhale, bow all the way down to your feet. Fold your torso over your thighs. So you next breathe in, press into the fronts of your legs. Lengthen your heart halfway up. Exhale, bow down, create release once again. Press into your strong legs, reach up all the way to the sky, full inhale. Take your twist right as you exhale. Inhale, reach high, lengthen. Exhale, twist left. Inhale, center. Back down we go, exhale to bow. Halfway lift, press into your legs to reach your heart forward. Exhale, full release. Rise on up, big breath in. Follow your fingertips with your, hand, your gaze, so look upwards. As you exhale, take your twist right. Inhale, center. Exhale, left. Inhale, center. Last time through, bow down to the earth. Halfway lift. Release. Rise high. Twist. Sit up tall, reach. Twist left. Reach up. And then let your hands circle back behind you once again. Sit up tall and proud. Let your palms float down to the earth. And then hands to thighs. Circle your shoulders up, back and down. Again. Last time through. Ah, 
So great, everyone. Take a moment now to have a sip of water before we move into our next section where there'll be choices to either complete the uh, shapes and the breathing exercises standing or sitting down. I hope you're all feeling well in your body, um, whether you did a lot of movement over the break or took a, a, a good rest. Wherever you're at, I hope this is a gentle reawakening of everything. So if you do have a chair and you feel confident and steady to stand up today, please draw your chair closer so you have it for support. If standing's not for you today, then that's absolutely fine. As I said, every option can be done in standing or sitting. So we'll start with some Sufi circles in sitting. We've done this before. Feet a little wider than hip width distance apart, hands to the tops of your knees as you inhale, draw your chest forward, circle to the front of your pelvis and then as you exhale, circle back and around. So that is our seated option. If that is the option you're taking today, you're already off and running, continue with exactly what you're doing. If you'd like to take this option standing, have a chair nearby. If you're feeling super confident, hands can come to the hips. Wherever you're at though, it's a similar sort of action, little bend into the knees and then circling of the hips forward, back and around. So hands can be on the hips, which provides greater um, feedback or on the back of your chair for stability. So just a little bit of loosening up through this area. It's so easy just to move around like a big block, especially when stiffness takes us over. But we're differentiating here the movement of our pelvis and our spine. Everybody take it back in the other direction, whether you're standing or sitting. And all the while you're keeping your awareness on your breath. Mindful breathing in through your nose, out through nose or mouth. One more circle through. And then stand up tall. Great job, everyone. We're going to come into a down dog stretch. If you're standing, draw your feet once again, hip width distance apart. Walk them out, let your torso bow down. If you're taking this stretch in the chair, feet a little wider than hip width distance apart. And so there's space for your torso to sink between your legs. Again, bow forward and down. Wherever you are, you are, you've got five breaths here. So these moments of stillness, a really great chance to come back to the breath. Draw your awareness here to your upper back, to the sides of your ribs, even to your armpits. Where the awareness goes, the breath goes in turn. So feel these areas expand, become a little more spacious with every cycle of breath in and out. Last deep round of breath in and breath out. If you're seated, take one hand at a time down to your thighs, press yourself up. If you're standing, walk your feet back towards your chair. Move slowly to prevent any head rushes. And once you make your way up, either seating, seated or standing. Just pause for a moment here. Again, allow your head to catch up with your body. And we'll come into our hip circles. If you're standing, I'll give you that option in just a moment. But for seated, scoop your hands beneath your right thigh. Lift your knee up towards your heart, then circle it wide, down and around. And again, this can be done with just one hand scooped underneath the thigh or no hands if you're feeling fancy and strong today. 
If you're doing this with no hands, try not to slump back in your chair. Really think about staying nice and upright through your torso so everything's engaged and integrated. Keep going if you're taking that option uh, seated. Standing, you can either stand side onto the chair or facing the chair. One or two hands or just a few fingertips on the back of your chair. Start to circle that hip up out and around. You'll feel this through the whole um, hip area, side of your hips, back of your hips, and a lot in the standing leg. So even if you're sitting down, really press your left foot firmly down into the floor. Take those circles back in the other direction. So nice, everyone. Whew, doesn't take long to feel this one, does it? All right, one more circle. Ah, float that right foot down. Walk the hips out if you're standing. You can give the right knee a windscreen wiper in and out if you're sitting. And then let's move over to the left side. I'll do this left side sitting, but if you're standing, you know what you're doing. Scoop hands underneath your thighs if you're sitting, left thigh if you're sitting down, lift up, out and around. Standing or sitting, heart is proud. Stay lifted through your side body, draw your shoulders away from your ears. Maybe even bring a little smile to your face. It is amazing how much of a difference that makes especially when we're in moments of challenge. Circling back in the other direction. Once more through. Ah, then float that left foot back down wherever you are. Walk the hips out. If you're standing, let your knee roll in and out a few times if you're sitting. I see a comment just popping up in the chat. Is that somebody making me feel better and telling me that they were feeling that as much in their outer hips as I was? <laughs> All right, sitting up tall if you're staying seated. Standing, I'll come back to you. We're gonna do what's called aeroplanes here. Our seated variation is lifting opposite hand and leg. Okay, so again, it's not only about the arm and leg that's lifting. It's really about what is holding you steady and stable. So pressing the opposite foot down, grounding down through your sit bones, drawing your belly in slightly so your spine stays long and lifted. So if you're seated, our aeroplanes will look like a right arm lifting, left leg lifting. Pull your toes back to your face and then float it down. Other side, right foot up, left arm up flowing back and forth between those two sides. And again, really thinking about the foot that's grounded, sit bones grounding and length through your spine. If you're coming into this standing, I'll come side on completely. You take a step back from your chair and it's the exact same thing. All of the focus is on the leg that's grounding down. From that stability, everything else just works. Two hands on the chair, one leg back, opposite arm forward. Then drawing foot down and hand down. Taking it over to the other side. Again, long through your torso, strong through your standing leg and return. So wherever you are, let's pause, reset, join in together. Let's take a clearing breath in through your nose. Open mouth, exhale. Once more through, deep breath in, long breath out. Nice, everyone. If you're standing a little step back from the chair, let's all start by lifting our right foot, left arm, breath in. Exhale to return. Other side, left hand, right leg. Exhale, return. Inhale, fly. Exhale to ground. 
Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Once more through on each side. Inhale. And exhale. Flying high. Breath in. Breath out. Sit up tall, stand tall, walk the hips out. Windscreen wiper the knees in and out. And then let's come into our downward dog stretch once again. So again, that can be done seated or standing. Feet hip width distance apart. Walk back from your chair. Let your chest sway down. Even let your head drop forward so that the whole upper body is getting a full stretch. Just a moment of pause here, a chance to reset. And then walking yourself back upright, either seating, seated or standing. Let's all take a seat for a moment. Quick sip of water. All right. Our next exercise um, I thought would be a really good one given this is our uh, welcoming in of the new year class. Um, it's called cleaning house, but it's an internal cleanse. All right, so we're gonna take goddess through the legs and you can do this standing it's a lot standing, okay? <laughs> it's a lot. So make a choice that take, takes care of your body. If you're standing, you're in a wide goddess squat. Can be done just as well in a seated position. So take the feet wide, heels in, toes out. Set yourself up with your ankles directly below your knees, then sit up tall. Take your hands, interlace all of the fingers, and then free your index fingers so they're pointing up towards the sky and then reach your arms all the way up to the sky. Sit up nice and tall, lots of length through the body. So this breath technique, as I said, is called clearing house. It's a forceful inhale as you lift. Exhale as you draw your hands down. <sighs> inhale. Exhale. <sighs> inhale. Exhale. <sighs> So that's what the exercise is going to look like. As I said, it's a lot to do standing. But if that's your calling today, then please embrace that. Just stay safe. We're going to go through this flow uh, for about 20 seconds. Um, and it does get to be a lot on the arms. So if you can't go all the way overhead, just come up to shoulder height. It's really about forceful breath in and out. If at any point you get dizzy, lightheaded, short of breath, stop <laughs> and just come back to slow, steady breath. It's an opportunity, these forceful breaths to just really wake up our system. And like I say, clean out any stagnant energy, make a lot of space for the new, which is what uh, my offering for today's class is. So let's get yourself ready. Heels in, toes out. Interlace all of your fingers, free the index fingers, and then draw your hands up to the sky. Let's start with a full breath in through the nose. Open mouth, exhale. And we begin, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Keep going. Stay with yourself. Keep that breath, breath forceful. Arms really defiant in your lift and your lower. Let's go for five, four, three, two, one. Release the hand, shake your arms out. Ah, give the torso a little shake, left and right. Circle your shoulders. And then close your eyes down, pause. 
Take note of the sensations moving through your body. If you've generated any more heat, tingling in any areas, a heightened sense of awareness, aliveness. And then observe your body as it returns back to this neutral state, this place of equilibrium. A real reminder how easily and quickly we can affect change within ourselves on a physical level. And this trust that that translates on an emotional level as well. There's a reason why a brisk walk in nature clears the cobwebs. It doesn't take much for us to feel refreshed, renewed, rejuvenated. As you're ready, blink your eyes open. Let's take one final stretch, the back of the chair. Keep your legs in goddess. You can come into a standing position or stay seated here. And again, bow the torso down. Keep working your knees out nice and wide. You'll almost feel as if you roll onto the outer edges of your feet. And create that nice sense of opening through the inner seams of your legs. One more cycle of breath, exactly as you are. Heel to your feet, back in towards you. If you're seated, hands to thighs, press yourself up. If you're standing, slowly make your way to an upright position. And then all returning back to our seats, if you're not already there. Again, another chance for a sip of water is always good. Let's do one final stretch here, a lunge. Turning round to the right side of your chair, Slide your hips back so the right thigh is completely supported. And then with your left leg, again, our stages, tuck the toes and have that knee just behind the right knee. Move it back so your left thigh is perpendicular to the earth or extend the left leg straight any amount. For me, my straight looks like this today any straighter than that and it feels a little tender in my back, low back. So be mindful of how your body's feeling today. Then turn your heart, your chest, your torso fully to the right side. Let's come back to our breath flow that we were just doing earlier, reaching the backs of the palms forward, all the way up overhead. As you exhale, let your arms circle back and around behind you. Inhale, lean forward, backs of the palms touch, reach all the way up to the sky, follow your fingertips with your gaze. Circle the hands back and around, puff your heart forward. Again, be mindful of the low back here. Last time through, breath in, reach forward and up. Breath out, circle back and around. Reach both hands high to the sky, big breath in, lengthen. Then draw prayer to your heart, lean into the right side of your body, right outer hip and slide your left leg forward. And then open back around to the front of the space. All the way around to the left side. Slide back so the back of your left thigh is supported. And again, find your variation on the right side. We're searching out a stretch through the front of the extended of the back leg, the front of that hip. Okay, backs of the palms touch, inhale, lean forward. All the way up. As you exhale, let your hands circle back and around. Inhale, reach forward. Up. Exhale, circle back and around. Last time through, breath in. Exhale to release. Your hands can come to your heart. Lean into your left side to slide the right leg forward. 
open back to center. Set yourself up with your feet beneath your knees once again. Give yourselves a nice big bear hug. So reach your hands as far around your upper back as you can. You may even be able to cup your shoulder blades. Reach up to the sky, lean back, breath in. As you breathe out, curl forward. Pause here. Let your head hang heavy. Your upper back become more spacious, more open. A little circle of the head left and right might feel really good here. Press into your feet to sit yourself up tall once again. Let your hands float down to your sides. Give them a shake out. Lean back in your chair now. Kick back. Let your hands float over the back of the chair. Your heart tip up towards the sky. Deep full breath across the front of your chest. Open mouth, exhale. Once more through, breath in. And a breath out. Sit up tall once again. Let's come into our outer hip stretch on the right side. So if you have a step or a cushion that you'd like to prop your right ankle up on, please do that. We have our stages, cross over the left ankle, press the knee away. Onto a prop or up to your left shin, or all the way up to the top of your left knee. Any of those variations, looking to gently press the inner edge of your right knee away from you so that you feel that stretch on the back of the hip. Stay upright through your torso or bow your torso forward and down. Relax your face. Three full breaths. Last breath in. And the breath out. Sit up tall. Extend your right foot out in front of you. Anchor your heel down to the earth. And slide your right hand down the front of that leg. Bow your torso forward until you feel a stretch at the back of the right thigh. You might have a bend through your right knee like I do, or your leg might be completely straight. It doesn't really matter. We're just looking for a stretch here, back of the hamstrings. And press into your left foot, your left hand to slide yourself back to an upright seat. Let's take that stretch over to the other side. Take your variation. I'm going to stay at my ankle this time. Again, press the inner seam of your left knee away from you. Bow your torso forward and down. One more cycle of breath in here. And a breath out. <sighs> Sit up tall. Draw your left heel down into the floor. Pull your toes back towards your face and then bow. Press into that right foot, press into your right hand, sit up tall, two feet together, and then slide both hands all the way down the front line of your legs for a forward fold, tuck in. You can catch a hold of opposite elbows here, or interlace your hands at the base of your skull. 
and your elbows draw heavy down towards the earth. Free the hands wherever they are, walk them back up the fronts of your legs. Ah, sit up tall and then straight away lean back into the support of your chair. Time for pillows, props, a blanket even, whatever you need to feel really comfortable and supported here. And as always with the cushion, I offer the choice of under the feet so that your feet are lovely and cushioned at your back or even over the tops of your thighs so that your arms can rest, palms face up towards the sky. Again, feeling really supported and held here. Close the eyes down. Deep breath in. Full breath out. Let all of the muscles of your feet begin to release and relax. Let that feeling of ease move up your legs, over your ankles, shins, and calves. Let your knees roll out to the side, slightly releasing any muscle tension around that area. Heavy your thighs into the support of your chair, hips and pelvis. With that feeling of ease, of relief and relaxation float all the way up your spine. Press your upper back fully into your chair. Relax your shoulders. Soften through your arms. Separate your top teeth away from your bottom teeth. Relax your cheeks. Muscles around your eyes, between your eyebrows and your forehead. Again, let this softening of the surface of your face in turn soften the surface of your mind. Enjoy a deep, full rest here. And as you sit in rest, cast your mind forward to this year full of potential that awaits us. How do you want this year to look? How do you want each day to feel? What are the things that you value that you would like to see present in your life this year? What do you need to do? What do you need to bring forth to create space for that which is important to you? The final question is, how can you put yourself in the best position possible to create a year that you are proud of this year. Again, these questions, they really don't need answers today. Perhaps those answers will manifest over the year to come. Those questions, those little pockets of inquiry circle around in your mind for a few more moments. And 
as you already start to deepen your breath. Bring flickers of movement back to the outer edges of your body, your fingers, your toes, your head, draw over left and right, and circle your wrists and your ankles. And take a big stretch, reach your arms overhead, sit up tall, gaze up. As you breathe out, let your hands float down to your thighs. And take a moment to blink your eyes open, come back to the space. Come back to yourself. Thank you, everyone.